So I was on the air today and we had Danny Parkins on from Chicago and he asked a very simple question. And it's a question that we've addressed indirectly multiple times on the uh, on the air, just just in our discussions about the Texans two games in. But, but the question was very simple. What do the Texans do well? And I kind of found myself kind of stumbling around. It was almost like the math teacher called on me in class and I wasn't very good at math and I had to go up on the chalkboard and try to BS my way through a problem. Found myself talking about the defense. Uh, they hold up nicely in the red zone. Uh, I like the secondary. I think the safeties are good. I think the corners are good despite Stingley's struggles. But it was a hard question to answer from someone in Chicago who didn't have much problem answering it because he could simply say, we run the ball well. Uh, David Montgomery runs the ball well, and he had no problem answering it. But I had I immediately had to think, and I was taken aback having to answer that question. And it got me to thinking because we're getting more and more questions uh, on social media at Landry Locker, on the show, uh, Sports Radio 610, Odyssey app, in the loop. We're getting more and more heat directed at Pep Hamilton, offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton. I've been asking all summer, and my main question, and I even asked Pep Hamilton, and he did his typical coaches speak where he really doesn't say much, but I asked Pep Hamilton, I've been asking, what the hell is a Pep Hamilton offense? I don't have any clue. Uh, two weeks into the season, I still don't have any clue what a Pep Hamilton offense is, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I think he's a bad offensive coordinator. I just don't think he has much that he can do in this situation. So I asked the question, what is Pep Hamilton supposed to do? If you're not pleased with Pep Hamilton, and may maybe the, the Rex Burkhead thing in week one has you out on Pep Hamilton. I thought that was a terrible display by Pep Hamilton in overtime. I thought it was embarrassing. We've been over it. Uh, it was bad. But other than that, tell me what Pep Hamilton's supposed to do. If you're out on Pep Hamilton, if you're criticizing Pep Hamilton, what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to rely on his quarterback? Because his quarterback right now is completing 56% of his passes, 29th in the NFL. His QBR is 30, that's 29th. And his rating is 80.8, that's 22nd. And the man himself, Davis Mills, he met with the media. He was asked about his struggles specifically at the end of games. And if he's up for the challenge, this is what Davis Mills had to say. Um, I mean, I'm comfortable in those situations. Just got to execute my job. Uh, looking back on it, there's opportunities down the field. Um, got to execute with those. Missed a couple throws this last game, but then if they cover up, like I said before, we got to be able to get our check downs the ball and let them make plays and um, move the ball that way. So um, just seeing that on film and reflecting on it, I mean, I think we're in a really good spot right now. I mean, no, you're not. Those fourth quarter moments late in the game when we got to go down and do something, those what makes the make or break uh, between a good team and a bad team. So um, I think our team's, I mean, really optimistic about where we're at and we're ready to go. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say the offense is in a good spot at all. Uh, they could be in a good spot if they beat Chicago. Uh, but what is Pep Hamilton supposed to do? I mean, is he supposed to call a flea flicker first play of the second half that should be a touchdown? He did that. Davis Mills underthrew it. Is he supposed to get inside the red zone and call uh, an out to Brandon Cooks where Brandon Cooks just drops it? He did that. What is he supposed to do when his quarterback is doing that? Like, like give me the answer. I'm asking the question. I, I'm not acting like I have the answer. Just tell me what Pep Hamilton uh, is supposed to do. Is he supposed to run the ball more? Look at this running back group. You have Damian Pierce. You have Rex Burkhead. You have 3-3. Three, three, D.O. Is he supposed to give Damian Pierce the ball more? Damian Pierce, God bless him. I mean, he slid to the fourth round of this draft. There were a lot of running backs taken before Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce wasn't carrying the full workload at Florida. I've, I've said these stats a hundred times. Carried the ball double-digit times, seven times, 15 or more twice. 
You don't give him the ball 25 times? You think that's a recipe for success? You think that's good for him? You got a backup running back in Rex Burkhead who can't even get a carry in Denver. And quite frankly, he doesn't deserve one. So what's he supposed to do? Pep's supposed to just use this, this running back room and run the ball a little bit more, be a little bit more effective? Is that realistic? So you have a quarterback who's playing some of the worst ball in the league. You have the worst. This is probably depth-wise. I, I think Pierce could be, end up being really good. Depth-wise, this might be the worst running back room they've ever had. I'm trying to think about what's even in the discussion. Maybe after Lamar got hurt. Although, no, I, I don't. You brought in Carlos Hyde. Yeah, did, no. I mean, no, this is this is probably the worst running back room they've had. So what is Pep supposed to do? He's called plays uh, that should have led to points. Davis Mills has let him down. He has the worst running back room that the Texans have ever had. Is he supposed to maximize his wide receiver talent? He's got Brandon Cooks, who I like. I think Brandon Cooks is a really good player. But Brandon Cooks is... Many say a really good two on a good team. I like Brandon. I think he's good. I'm glad they signed him. I think it was a team-friendly deal. Start him every week in fantasy. Hell, I gave him a fourth-round grade in fantasy. I would I would have even seen you in bigger leagues uh, taking him in the third, uh, in large part because of his target share because the wide receivers below him are so bad. Uh, last season, Brandon Cooks caught 90 passes. Nico caught 33. That was the second most. Is he supposed to maximize Nico Collins? We sure Nico Collins is good? Positive? I don't think he's getting off the line. I mean, if you watch the game, he's not getting off the line. Now, Davis Mills can maybe go through his progressions a little better, but Nico's not quite getting off the line. He's supposed to get the ball to Chris Moore more? I mean, this isn't Cincinnati. Uh, Conley? Supposed to get the ball to Conley? Feed Conley? And then we find ourselves, we're sitting here, we're talking about the wide receiver group, and I've done it too. But we're sitting here and we're saying, well, what's up with Philip Dorsett? Why wasn't Philip Dorsett active? What, where, where, is, where is Johnson at? Where is Tyler Johnson at? Think about what we're saying. <laughs> like, these guys could end up contributing, but Philip Dorsett is a, is, is a failed high round, uh, first round draft pick that has been on multiple teams now. Multiple teams. Johnson just got cut by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They got rid of him. Now, I know they got veterans, and this could be an opportunity for him, but we're talking about Philip Dorsett and Johnson coming and saving the day with the receiving core on top of that? Again, I go back to the question. What exactly is Pep Hamilton supposed to do? Someone tell me, at Landry Locker on Twitter, at Landry Locker on Instagram. You can talk in the chat as well. Be sure to subscribe. Is he supposed to get the tight ends involved? I mean, Farrell Brown? Hell, I fell in love with Farrell Brown the last two training camps. But I mean, he's been around the league a little bit. Get him involved? Brevin Jordan? Maybe there's a reason he fell in the draft. He's on the injury report again, by the way. OJ Howard, I like Juice Man. I, I think Juice Man can come here and revive his career, but, I mean, Tampa Bay got rid of him and Buffalo cut him before the season started. So I go back to the, to the, to the question, because, look, in this fluid process, there'll be a time where we'll look at Pep Hamilton uh, with a much larger sample size. And I think you're going to have to grade him on a curve with the squad that he has. But I just asked the question once again, what the hell is Pep Hamilton supposed to do? Someone tell me. Because I really don't see what much more he could do outside of uh, the brain fart to start the season. Subscribe to the channel.
Uh, hit me up on Twitter at Landry Locker. Uh, I'll talk to y'all throughout the week. Uh, everyone have a good one. Uh, and again, send me your answers to the question. What the hell is Pep Hamilton supposed to do?